All right, everybody, I am in rural Alabama. I'll show you where I'm at as usual. Give you a look at the map. You can see the blue dot there. Uh, I guess you could say I'm in western Alabama, a little bit north, uh, far off the beaten path. There are no interstates nearby. Got some interesting towns want to visit here. I'm a little bit on the edge of the town of Gordo. That's going to be the first town we visit. It's a gloomy day. It's rainy, <laughs> cloudy. Like uh, most videos that I have shot recently, uh, that's the weather I've been dealt with. I've had people in the comments say, uh, why don't you just film a different day? Well, because, you know, I've spent the money to stay in a hotel and we're on a schedule and, uh, you know, I just can't really afford to keep skipping. So, uh, I'm going to film today, even though it's a little bit gloomy. Kind of fits the towns I'm going to show you, though, which, like a lot of rural towns, are struggling a bit. I came out here... Uh, at this lumber company. Interesting. I was looking at the top employers here and it's agriculture, which is over 20% uh, of the people here work in agriculture. But it uh, looks like there's some lumber work going on here too. Anyway, I'm going to head towards downtown. Um, Gordo, you're probably wondering, where does that name come from? Uh, the town got its name from soldiers returning from the Mexican-American War who fought in the Battle of Sierra Gordo. That was in the late 1840s. The first post office opened up here in the late 1840s as well. But it was another 50 plus years before the town incorporated. That was in the year 1900. I'll give you some of the numbers of the town. Median age is 41. A little bit older town. I better give you the population numbers. Uh, 2022 census estimates say there's about 1,580 people here. 1980, there was 2112. So, um, the town has lost five, 600 people. Um, what, over 40 years. It's not losing a massive amount, but it is losing a little bit. You can see it in the downtown, uh, the loss of tax revenue. Like a lot of these struggling small towns, you know, they can't really keep things maintained, I guess is the right words. Per capita income here is $2,600, or I'm sorry, $26,000 a year. Median household income is $42,400. Poverty rate's 13.3. That's not bad. Not really, not really bad at all. And uh, the median home value is $112,300. I'm giving you a look at the downtown. I'm going to turn up on it. It's not a huge downtown. There's not a lot to see. Uh, it is Sunday. About 10 a.m. Even though the weather is kind of gloomy. Temperature's not, uh, temperature's not bad. It's about 60 degrees right now. Not uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm going to... Yeah, we'll take a little drive through downtown here, and I'm going to turn around and go the other direction, just to show it to you. The town is small, but it is something of a athletic powerhouse. The local high school has won four state football, or state championships in football, and they've won four state titles in baseball as well. So, uh, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, that's the downtown, so I'm going to turn around and go back through one more time. All right, I'm going to make another pass through downtown. Take another look. 
and then um, go into a neighborhood or two. In fact, I'll uh, yeah, I'll turn here in just a second. Anyway, give you a good look at the downtown. It was something in its day, you can tell. Very quiet today, it being Sunday. Kind of left here. Now this is the street I just came down, so uh, I will come up here and cut a quick left. Stay in the neighborhoods real close to downtown, like I usually do. That's where the uh, most interesting architecture is usually. People say, why don't you go on the edge of town? So, well, I don't show Walmarts and Taco Bells and new buildings, that kind of thing, because they're just not interesting. That's what you're used to seeing every day. I want to show you the stuff that's unusual. Now I was thinking about that $26,000 a year per capita here. That's uh, $500 a week. Hmm. Um, in a place like this, you can probably live on that pretty easily. What, after taxes, that's maybe around 400 a week? Uh, you'd have to get a place for rent pretty cheap, well under 1,000. Honestly, the neighborhoods don't look bad, though, do they? I mean, you, you got a house or two that could use a little TLC, like this one. But it's a nice architecture. Oh, it's a duplex, it looks like. Uh, but most of the places here look pretty nice, don't they? Not bad at all. I'm kind of driving one street off downtown and neighborhood still looks pretty nice. Pretty nice homes here. Uh, this is a perfect example of uh, the difference lower cost of living makes in a place versus a place like where I live, suburban Dallas. There's downtown right there, Main Street. Uh, the town looks real nice. Okay, actually I wanted to see this. Here it is. I was looking for this. This is First City Hall Jail. Here, let me get you a better shot of it. This was built in 1914. It is the oldest remaining building in this town. And it's exactly like it's called. It was uh, the first jail and the first city hall combined in one building. How awesome is that, that they have uh, preserved it? It's on the National Register, as you can well imagine. Obviously, obviously that is some of the town's uh, industry. There's some evidence of the agriculture. And, uh, you know, into this neighborhood I go and it's nice. Nice houses. Be a shot in this direction. Yeah, it's a nice town. I like it. These houses are real nice. Really nice. That is awesome there. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. This is Gordo, Alabama. All right, so time to head to the next town. Okay, everyone, I am entering the town of Reform. Um, 2022 estimate, as far as the population is concerned, is 1,460. Peak population was in 1980, 2,245. In fact, pretty much all the towns I'm going to show you today their peak population was in 1980. So something happened then. Maybe someone can fill in. Uh, I am in downtown reform right now. It's kind of quaint, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Uh, does that say video adventure? Okay, closed. I was going to say, I, don't, I didn't think there were any video stores left. Yeah, that's setting empty. 
the town reform. You might be wondering how it got the name. I was. Apparently, a traveling evangelist came into town and implored the people to change their ways and to reform. And as a result, the town took the name reform. Kind of clever if you think about it. <laughs> I will say this though. Uh, there's a church right there. I'm about to remark upon that. This town has 10 churches. 10 is what I counted. A town of 1,400 with 10 churches. It's unreal. That is a lot. So, uh, apparently they took that evangelist's statement to heart. Because that is a lot of churches for a town of under 1,500. There's a particular one over here I wanted to show you that looked really interesting. Uh, First Baptist Church, if I remember right. Let me go over here and show it to you real quick. Yeah, there it is. Let's take a good look at this one, huh? That's a beauty. Yeah, Fast, uh, First Baptist Church Reform, Alabama. I don't know about you guys, but I love that architecture. Uh, that is really unusual. Let me see if I can get a good look. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? That's pretty amazing. I like that. Um, anyway, yeah, there's nine others here at least. I might be missing one. Now, I was looking at the top industries. Um, healthcare and social assistance makes up 20% of the workforce. So that's what people here do for a living. Yeah, some trash got loose, it looks like. No dumping allowed. And then there's a bunch of trash that was dumped. You gotta love that. Uh, this looks like a building that has been torn down. Uh, you know, these towns are struggling though. This town in particular seems to be struggling even though the downtown is quite quaint and it it's not got a lot of empty buildings. Here, I'll make another drive through it as I tell you about it. Uh, the median age here is 39. Per capita income is $20,315 a year. Now, that's a lot. That's I mean, that's low. That's not a lot. That's very low. Uh, what is that? $390 a week. I don't know how you can live on that. I guess people do somehow. I'm going to head into a neighborhood. I'm going to go past this church again. There's some neighborhoods over here. Um, median household income is 34647 That's pretty low, too. That's not much money to live on. Median home value is 84600 So a house is not going to cost you a lot here. Poverty is very high, 30.8. So let's see if it shows in the neighborhood. Not so far. Pretty nice so far. There's not a lot in the way of neighborhoods here. I think the biggest one is right down the street. But uh, pretty nice homes. This one in particular is beautiful. It's a big house. It goes way back there. Uh, let's see. Take a look. A little bit more. I'm on another street here. I'm not going to lie, I'm looking for a cat. I'm going to find him. There's, there's one here somewhere. Let's take a look at uh, this street though. The house is here. Got one that looks like uh, it's abandoned here. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I guess that was a house or a business of some sort. A couple of nice trailers here though. Mobile homes. 
Uh, let's see, warning, violation of noise ordinance, strictly enforced. I wonder if that's kids playing loud music. What do you think? Uh, you hate to see trash on, on the ground. Looks like an animal got a hold of that though. Maybe a raccoon. I would guess there's all kinds of wild critters here in Alabama. Oh, where'd he go? There he goes. You guys see the cat? He's going up in the tree there. Aha! I'll see if I can find another one. You can barely see him there. He's looking at me right above the hood of the car or the truck. It's like, what are you looking at, buddy? <laughs> but there he is, cat. Yeah, there he is, right there. See him? Cool. Yeah, I'm wondering what happened here. What do you guys think? Here's some chickens. That looks like it. It's some huge retail type thing. Maybe like a indoor flea market, something like that. Wonder what happened. Huh. Interesting. That adds to the gloominess of the day, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. I'm driving into the town of Millport right now. Approaching downtown. A little bit of a light rain. Weather is just not cooperating. Anyway, Millport, estimated population 2022, uh, is 998 people. Peak population, like the two towns before, was in 1980. 1,287 people. Median age here is 40 years old. Now, this is downtown. It's not very big. Uh, per capita income is 21,600. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty low. I'm gonna guess uh, cost of living must be really low here to survive on that. Median home values is 94,300. Poverty level is 16.4 percent. Let's go, go up this way, see what we can see. The town's original name was Lick Skillet. Lick Skillet. Uh, somebody decided that wasn't a good idea and so they changed their name to Millport. One of the founding fathers, uh, founding father's last name. Yes, I'll get that spit out was Miller. The town was incorporated in 1887. Filed bankruptcy in 2005. Um, calls itself Tree City USA. I was kind of wondering why, but uh, aside from the huge trees that surround the place. But there is a huge lumber yard right outside of town. I'll show you that. Let's see, 30% of the town works in manufacturing, so I had to find that. SDR, Steel Dust Recycling. So, um, yeah, this is it right here. This is where much of the people of this town work. Steel Dust Recycling. I'm not sure what that is. Somebody will have to fill, fill us in on what that actually is. But anyway, uh, anyway, I wanted to show you that real quick. That might be empty. Anyway, uh, yeah, pretty interesting little town. I think I showed you enough though. Uh, I'm going to head to the next one now. All right, I'm entering the town of Fayette. 
This is a bigger town. Uh, 2022 population, 4270. Again, like the other towns, the peak population here was in 1980. 5,287 people back then. Per capita income is 26,050. Median household income is 34,100. Median age is 48. Uh, definitely an older town. Poverty rate is 28.5. A little high. I'm surprised that it's that high as I've driven through the town because uh, you don't see it. At least I haven't yet. And median home value is 95,300. It's got some significant buildings here, including the county courthouse, which is right to my left. When this light turns green, I'll show it to you. Built in 1912. I'll pull over a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, built in 1912. It is uh, neoclassical architecture. So it takes design cues from ancient Rome and ancient Greece. Uh, you can totally see that. There's some more of the complex. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, uh, let's take a look a little bit more. Pretty good sized downtown here. Of course, it's a bigger town. Uh, this is the birthplace and headquarters of Golden Eagle Syrup. Uh, what's different about this syrup is that there's no maple syrup in the ingredients. It's made from cane sugar, corn syrup, molasses, and honey. So if you're a person who does not like maple syrup, my wife is one of those people. She cannot stand it. It's weird to me. I love it. But uh, then this is a syrup that you may like. got a pretty cool mural over here now here let me uh yeah I want to stop and walk around a bit because I got a kind of a big story to tell you about this town so let me do that something pretty crazy happened here in 2003 it's about a guy named Devin Moore he was 18 at the time uh, he, let me preface this by saying he had never been in any kind of legal trouble ever in his life. But he was an avid gamer and uh, before this event happened he had been playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City from what I understand day and night. Now keep in mind this game, and I've played it myself, it's fun. But anyway the game <laughs> at its basic premise is that you steal cars. So in 2003, the police brought him in on suspicion of car theft. And while he was in their custody at the police station, he lunged for the police officer's gun, got it, shot the cop in the head, shot another cop in the head, and then on his way out, shot the dispatcher in the head as well. And then he fleed in a uh, police car. I mean, it's just something right out of the game. Now, he was caught, and when he was caught, the first thing he said to the police was that uh, life is a video game. Everyone dies sometime. That's pretty rough. Uh, so, he went to trial. The defense tried to use the uh, fact that he played this game and, and that it inspired him to do this in the court or in the trial, but the uh, trial judge wouldn't allow it. So he was convicted uh, of murder. Or yeah, he was convicted of murder, three counts, and sentenced to death. Now, interestingly, the victims' families, the three victims, they are or they have filed civil lawsuits 
against Sony, Take-Two Interactive, now Take-Two Interactive is the company that built the game, uh, Walmart, and GameStop uh, for the manufacture and sale of the game. I'm curious to see what will happen there. Personally, I don't think it's a case. I've played the game and the other Grand Theft Autos. They are fun. Yes, they're violent, but a lot of games are. But <laughs> You know, I don't think it's that hard to detach yourself from reality. My favorite game is Witcher 3. Do a lot of killing in that one too. Uh, you know, with a sword though. Assassin's Creed, very popular game series and it's exactly like uh, it sounds. You're an assassin. You do a lot of killing. So for me, I don't think it's a legit lawsuit. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you about that. I found that really interesting. Anyway, closer look at this absolutely gorgeous courthouse. Now, as I told you earlier, uh, the poverty level in this town is almost 30%, which is really high. And the median home value is 95,000. Uh, but this is what you see driving into town. Uh, big beautiful homes almost mansions I mean right now this is a couple blocks out of downtown but uh, I'm gonna go drive closer to downtown here in a minute but um, yeah these homes are absolutely beautiful I guess I've shown you enough of the town. It's There's some huge houses here and then there's some that's not. It's a pretty good mix. Overall looks decent though. Not really any graffiti, not any trash. Overall pretty nice. So uh, yeah, one more town to check out. I'm gonna head there right now. All right, I'm in the little town of Barrie. Uh, latest population says there's 990 people here. Unlike the other towns, the peak population of this town was in 2000, and there were 1,238 people. So it's lost, you know, geez, close to 20%. Uh, they've got this little tiny downtown section here that looks real old. And that's about it. It's like they tore much of the old downtown uh, down and uh, that's all that's left. Hmm. Anyway, the uh, median age here is 44. 44 years old. A little bit older town. Uh, the per, per capita income is 21,700. See what else I can find here. Proceed to the route. Oh, Australian Siri is telling me I'm going the wrong way, so I uh, better turn around. Median household income is forty-three thousand three hundred. Uh, medium home, median home value, ninety-three thousand three hundred. Uh, let's see, I already, did I give you the age? Forty-four years old. I think I did. And. Uh, Property level is 20%. It's a little high. Town was incorporated in 1883. Uh, manufacturing is the number one employer. 30% of the people here are in are work in manufacturing. Wow, this is a quite a small little street, isn't it? Uh, hasn't been paved in a while. That's pretty obvious. We're living in a motorhome or a RV trailer. Yeah, I guess I'll take a look up here. Hmm. People don't 
always like when I say this, but I'm getting a deliverance vibe. Yeah, it's not so bad. Boy, with the clouds and the trees, it really is gloomy, isn't it? Looks like something out of a, a horror movie with all these trees. I bet it's quite beautiful in the summer, though. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'm coming back out on the main road. Okay. You got somebody over here with a pretty good accumulation of stuff. Well, I guess I'll look around a little bit more. It is a very small town. Uh, it's nice houses, though. It's mostly what I'm seeing. Looks like it's a pretty nice town. Uh, a lot of newer homes. Huh. Yeah. It's all pretty nice. All right, I'm at a local supermarket uh, called DG Market. That sign doesn't look safe, though, does it? <laughs> Better not park underneath that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call it a day with this town. Um, we are heading to Tuscaloosa next. The wife and I will be doing that video together. So, uh, <sighs> roll tide. Sorry, I had to say it. Anyway, uh, that video's next. Be looking for it.